Welcome to the NetSuite training video provided by Trustangle Company. My name is Sarah Siufi, and in today's video, we will be going over how to build a purchase order. In the last two videos, I created purchase order and then I created item receipt. So we will search for that purchase order using BO number. The status of this purchase order is pending billing partially received and that because we only received part of the order and we will now bill only whatever we have received from that order. We will click on bill. On the bill page, most of the information is built from the original order. And that will help us to do a validation on the bill rather than a lot of data entry. For the vendor bill, the system will generate it automatically. For the reference number field, it is searchable which will ease the bookkeeping process. And for the due date, it is calculated based on the selected terms. And if we change the terms, the due date will change accordingly. So let's suppose we will change this term to be net 60. You will notice that the due date is changed according to the terms. The due date will impact our AB aging report. And if we don't assign a due date, this bill will not appear on aging report. In the expenses and items, this bill is created only for the received item and the received quantity. When you finish, click Save. 